pag go door strike <laughs> so this is um taal taal tagay tay taal na <laughs> hmm? <laughs> say hi Said say hi hi <laughs> at the uh, the smoke it's smoky Smoking. Ganda. Okay, so this is what happened. Oh, actually, it's uh, in Manila. It's raining. It's not raining here right now, but it's just smoke. Why is it smoking? Is that a fog? Yeah. Ah, uh, fog. <laughs> Fogs. So yeah, it's pretty quiet. Although Taal, it's like boiling a little bit. <laughs> it's boiling a little bit. And yeah, this is so nice. Very calm, very relaxing weather here. While in Manila, it's raining. So here, the weather is not that good. It's cloudy, but it's not raining. You could, you just can see the the fogs. So yeah, this is what happened. This is um a taal. Oh, the food, but the food here is not really affordable because it's like, oh uh, yeah, for you it's affordable because the buffet here it's like two thousand five hundred per head, but for for me it's not affordable. <laughs> I don't pay, but it's still nah. Yeah, but you know, sometimes, you know, you just go here, take videos, and to tell people what's going on, what's happening in Ta'al at the moment, the situation of Ta'al at the moment, what you can see about Ta'al at the moment, since I am just in front of Ta'al. So, yeah. Here, there's a city CCTV here, so mm -hmm. so it's really safe when you fall <laughs> here, actually. But it's not. It just means someone can watch you fall later on CCTV. No, I mean it's because there is like here, yeah. unlike in other restaurants, where you, when you look, you'll go down right there. It says on there, warning: fifteen feet drop. Please refrain from standing. Okay. Sad turn. Weather is really good, right? So yeah, the U European likes more the weather of Tagaita and Baguio, but Baguio it's too crowded for European. So um, European, you know, um, and Baguio also is also is more affordable than Tagaita. So. That's the reason why European likes more Tagaytay. Well, the American likes in Visayas, like in the ocean. Yeah, but here you can see the warning: 15 feet drop. Please refrain from standing or sitting on the edge. Okay, I don't see it, but I'll stand here to take a video. Okay, so yeah, it's really nice. Taal, right now it's like calm. Um, Although it's in the alert level 2, but it seems like calm. So yeah, we'll go grab something to eat. That, oh, the business there, I, I don't know what to call that, but it's like um like you know when you can bring your kids a so horse riding now it's not allowed due to tagaytay it's still mcq so yeah economy here is really dying but you know when you stay they only allow five star and they only allow um fully vaccinated in the main lobby and 
they're gonna tell you that they only allow to go inside the restaurant stay in the hotel when you are fully vaccinated but I haven't get one and they allow me <laughs> well also this is the thing also with the problem they the government have to understand you only allow the five-star hotel you only allow the restaurant or fully vaccinated and they're not even thinking most of the people who are fully vaccinated can afford of staying in the five-star hotel in the five-star restaurant like three thousand per head of <laughs> three thousand per head of buffet so spending three thousand for food in the restaurant you'd rather use that buying a 500 550 kilograms of rice right so here up Did it not? Actually, they don't know. They have no idea how to, how to check also. So what would you prepare? Oh, you never been to Baguio, right? See, I'm gonna show you what's in the bottom. And there you go. There you go behind my back. Behind my back. Okay. <laughs> volcano so yeah we're about to go back to the car and go home uh yeah here before it's right oh, this is restaurant and bar here but look it's empty yeah so it's just sad for the restaurant and hotels owner they're not making much money this time of pandemic like they're very affected on pandemic yeah so we're in the car now and let's go back to newport manila Newport City, Manila, where we originally live. <laughs> yeah.
So yeah, we're on our way back home now. Yeah, you have no traffic. You see. Yeah, um, actually, no traffic during MSQ because they only allow you to go here if you leave. If you're from Calabar Zone, or we're not from Calabar Zone, but yeah, we have um a property in Calabar Zone. We have a house. So yeah, because it's a checkpoint at Calax and um Cavitex, they're very strict. Yeah, they oh they're going to check your ID, your address, ng ID mo kung saan. So make sure na yung ID mo may address ka sa pupuntahan mo. Yun yung naka address sa ID mo na pupuntahan mo sa Calabar Zone. Kasi mahigpit yung checkpoint. And good thing si si Jason kasi very updated siya. Nung bumili ako ng kotse para sa kanya and kumuha siya ng driver license at saka insurance ng kotse niya. Yung pinangalan niya, yung inaddress niya, yung bahay namin sa dito. So, he's very updated. Ako kasi hindi ako nag-update. Yung address ko noon, yung iba sa address ng condo namin, kasi sarili namin yon and yung iba talagang ID ko, naka-address sa bahay ko. Sarili kong bahay, like, niloan ko siya ng pag-ibig, mura lang that time like 11 years ago nung dalaga pa ako um, yun yung naka-address ng mga ID ko and hindi talaga ako nag-change ewan ko lang kung mag-change ako due to my syempre yung pra- mga property namin naka pangalan sa akin yung dead of cell cert- certificate of title so um, sa bahay namin kasi foreigner siya kahit foreigner ka married ka sa Filipina hindi ka pa rin pwedeng magmay-ari ng house. Lot lang pwede. Ah, no. Ng house and lot. Although lot, hindi pwede. But house, you can be like a co-owner na may batas ng ganyan. Pero wala na pinangalan ko na sa akin magulo eh. Kasi yung foreigner, they're only allowed to own a condominium. <laughs> Or co- co-owner ng condominium. So, Yeah, pero siya mas updated siya sa akin. Yung address ng driver license niya, insurance, kotse, naka-address na dito. So, yun, kaya kami inalaw na pumasok ng Calabar Zone. Kasi medyo madaming cases sa Calabar Zone actually, especially in Cavite area, Laguna. Pero kung taga rito ka naman, which is, diba, um... Taga rito ka naman, uh, may property ka. So, ibig sabihin, taga rito ka din, although you don't live here totally. Pero, taga dito, taga rito ka pa rin. And, yeah, pabalik na kami na Manila. And, okay, okay, okay. Walang traffic, it's just stoplight. This is a good thing for, um like, during MSQ but it's just bad because stores the dance all, or a lot of businesses are really like down the economy is really down here but some like the big restaurants are making money eventually pero hindi lahat yun yung ma- nakakalungkot so yeah thank you thank you for watching No traffic. Yahoo. <laughs> Oopsie. Mm-mm. So right now we're still in the guy die. Yes.